Is she a match with my brother? There is this question I've been wanting to ask you. Concerning this constant visit of strangers to your niece's house, I'm talking about uh, Chinelo. You've been so quiet and silent about this whole thing. And even when they know that she is an outcast, and I'm beginning to feel uncomfortable. Well, my brother, they know she is an outcast. Yet, they continue to align themselves with her. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the river does not swallow anyone. It does not see his or her legs at its banks. Mbano. You understand? I'm not done. I'm coming. I'm not done yet. Yeah? I want you to listen carefully before you respond to what I'm saying. You see, if these people continue to go there, they put themselves in danger. My hands are not there. I am not the one to go and stop them. Are you saying we should let them be, even as they continue to defy our land by associating with her? I wonder. What are you going to do? No, what are you going to do? Are you going to fight for the gods? Listen, in our country, Nigeria, there is freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of movement. You just sit back and let the gods fight for us. That is all I want us to do. You don't know, so see, you cannot rise to fight for the gods now. Hey, the government will come for you. So let us let them be, please. I can't believe you are the one saying this. I can't believe it at all. But like as the saying goes, he who wears the shoe knows where he pinches him. For that, I will just allow you. Exactly, mm. the chair movie. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me, mm. I will suggest we mobilize the youth to stop them from coming here to visit that woman. I don't have a hand in that too. <laughs> hey. I don't. Because if this leads to trouble, and the tr one trouble leads to another trouble, and continuously like that, I will not come out to answer for anybody. <laughs> if you want to mobilize the youths, of course you are a, a, a member of the cabinet. Oh no. Your Majesty. I called you, but to let you know that my son, Prince Kennedy, We'll be bringing a woman that pleases his heart to the throne. And she will pass through the test of sanctity and purification. Um, son, before that day, your bride will come a day before a gay. And you must try to avoid meeting her. Because it's a taboo for the groom to meet the bride before she is sanctified by Nuku, the custodian of fertility. You know she's coming for the sanctification and the purification. Very important. I, I still don't get it. You want me to get married? Mm -hmm. And yet I'm not supposed to see my bride until the initiation is completed. How is that even possible? It, might be, it may not be possible to you or even make sense to you, but that is the tradition. I did it with your father here, and our love story is the best in the entire kingdom. Her son. Oh, the son of my son. I'm, I'm <laughs> am I too late for the meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Mother. My God, you didn't tell me you were coming. How are you? Look at, Bro. Look at you, guy. Yeah. Look at my son. Oh my God. Oh my God. What <laughs> wouldn't you? Maxwell, you're welcome. Thank you. It's a good Hey. Ha 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 
Oh, no, seriously, bro, I'm so happy you came back. Huh? <laughs> you know, it's a special day. Yeah. You don't expect me to miss a day like this. <laughs> you know, at the time, I started wondering if you actually ordained to be a priest. Oh, come on, bro. You know, that's not possible. It's uh, impossible, man. <laughs> so why did it take you so long to start mixing up with ladies? Discipline, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I got in touch with some of your cosmates and I asked them. Some said that you are gay. Why some said that you are important? Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You poor people know that is impossible. Uh, impossible. Uh, I, can't, I can't do that, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. Of course. Cheers. And I'm so glad it came. Huh? <laughs> Cheers, huh? One love. <laughs> mm. So, um, what about you? I mean, what are your future plans? Oh, uh, you started it already, so let me say after you are sad. <laughs> I I'll get one, you know. Fix yourself, yeah. You know, now. <laughs> I couldn't get one over there when I went for my master's. So I decided to come home. To look for one. Well, I say look for one. If the girls are by my side, let me see if I'll continue with the one. I groomed before I traveled. You groomed? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm so happy for you once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My princess, given the fact that your brother has finally found whom to marry, don't you think it is right for me to go back to my hometown? Why are you in a haste to leave? I don't know you to be a quitter, Rosie. Your brother is taken already. And there's nothing left for me in the palace. My brother is not taken until that lady passes the secret initiation test. Even if she does, Maswell is still there. Maswell, my brother, is more free and fun to be with than Ken. Believe me. I made a fool of myself before Ken. And I won't make that same mistake with Maswell. I won't. Moreover, he looks like a Casanova. Oh no, my brother is not like that. My father trained us properly. Besides, he's not someone that uses and dumps his girls up and down. So, this time around, you're going to step up your game. If you were here, you need to level it up. It's fine. So, promise. I promise. I'm going to give you tips. Oh, well, let's okay. go. <laughs> My daughter, you are welcome to the palace of His Royal Majesty, King Onochie of Umuchu Kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am truly honored. So please, can you tell us a little about yourself? My name is Chine Luana Ndigwe, the only child of late Ana Ndigwe of Umweri in Umuji Kingdom. Your parents are late? Yes, Your Majesty. They died early this year. Ah, oh, so, so sorry about the loss of your parents. Hmm? Thank you, so, Your Majesty. Um, please tell me, are you a graduate? Yes, Your Majesty, I am a graduate. I studied chemical engineering in the University of Nigeria, Suka. Oh, oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty.
Go in if you don't want to go blind. Because Nopu is here. Welcome, the great Nopu. Welcome, the great Nopu. Shinelu, may your light shine and chase away every darkness in Umushu kingdom. May it brighten the entire kingdom to the glory of the gods. May the gods prove to me that you are the virgin that truly deserves the prince. Are you sure she's going to pass the test and get initiated? Relax. Even the gods, those high potent she is to you. She will pass the test. Huh? Come to think of it, how did you meet this lady? Because I know you're not into women. Uh, what do you mean, I'm not into women? Did I tell you I was into men? <laughs> well, I I met her in one of my charity outings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't be late. Nuhu, how did it go? The eagle is set to fly high, your majesty. My part is finished here. I only await the cry of the baby. <gasps> that means she passed the sanctity and initiation test. Yes. She is pure now and has been duly initiated. Let the gods be praised. 
Your Majesty, Elders of the Royal Council, last night, the bride that Prince Kennedy brought for initiation and purification passed the royal sacred test. With His Majesty's permission, I present to you, Miss Chinelo. My princess, please unveil her. Is this you? What's going on here? You two know each other? She, she's the love of my life. Huh? What? You're not serious. She's a woman. Where's she running? She's a woman. Hey, hold. What is going on? Why is she burning? I don't know. Thought she passed through the sanctity initiation. Yes, she did, according to Nufu. So why then is she running away? And why is Prince Maxwell chasing after her? Do I know? I don't know. Your Majesty. Oh no. The drama that happened some minutes ago is highly embarrassing. And you told us that uh, the maiden passed the sanctity initiation test. Now, what is happening? Huh? I just don't get it. Neoku confirmed to me that she is pure. That my son should go ahead and marry her. I'm, I'm as surprised as you are at what just happened. Your Majesty, hey. with all due respect, you have to issue an order and have that maiden brought to this palace for clarification. Because this kind of thing that just happened has never happened in this kingdom before. Ah. Besides, I even heard that she's not from our own so we really have to do something. We have to do something. This little maiden cannot come here and embarrass the, 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 the throne of our forefathers just like that. She must have to come here and explain to us what has happened. She must come and explain. Well, wherever she is, she must be brought back here to present herself before us. Kennedy, search for her, bring her back here to explain to us what happened today. Have I made myself clear? <sighs>
Joshua. What was that display out there? What history do you have with my fiancé? I am sorry, Kennedy. Chinelo is my love. I groomed her for marriage before I traveled overseas for my master's degree. What nonsense are you talking about? Groomed? For what exactly? I didn't say that I was grooming her. I said that I groomed her. That is to say, I made that the woman she is today. My love, I want you to assure me that you're still the same virgin that I met years back. That you're still intact. No one has ever touched you. You know you have asked me this question more than 1,000 times since we started dating. And I want you to answer me 1,000 times that I've asked you the same question. Do you know why I always ask you this question? No. There is a tradition in my place and that tradition forbids me to touch a woman that I'm supposed to make my wife until she becomes mine. There is a, a ritual you're going to go through. And before you go through that ritual, she must be a virgin. This is why I haven't touched you for once. Wow. Well, I am still a virgin. And I promise you, I am willing to remain this way until you're ready to take me to your bed. I promise. <sighs> to be candid with you, I love you so much. And I'm ready to go physical. And I abusive and aggressive to anyone who crosses my path. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what you're about to say, right? You don't need to worry. Hmm? Don't worry about anything. Believe me when I say I am ready to stay this way to you whenever you're ready. And that's a promise. No man no man will ever see my nakedness. That I promise you. Thank you so much. No, you thank you. Thank you for bringing so much happiness into my life. Thank you for giving my life a meaning. I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> Let's um, let's go to the car. Let me give you money for upkeep. Okay. You worry too much. The one no. you give me is still remains. No, I still need to give you more. Okay. Baby, I still have enough. And I insist. Okay. Please so. All right. Mama. Oh. Where are you going? Why don't you finish your snack? As if you don't want me to leave it so you can finish everything. <laughs> For your mind. <laughs> I wish you remained there a little longer. I'll just finish your snacks and mine. You go die of hunger today. Mm. <laughs> finish it now. Finish it so you choose between this and this. And My first thing. Hold now, hold it. Chi? Jay? Is this money for me? Mm -mm. It's for me. Mm. Ha. Hmm. 
It's like my swear came today because mm. he's the only one that can give you this money. Mm. I'll say finish now. <laughs> you don't have me finish. <sighs> yes, it came. It was the one that gave me some money. Mm -hmm. So I decided to give you 20,000 naira. So you use it and finish up your clearance and um, also pay for your development. That way, me and you can be on the same camp when we go for NYSC. Chi, Chi, my friend and my sister. <laughs> my God, will bless Leave me, you. drama queen. See her face. Please, what is that? Chi, my godmother. Eh, eh, grandmother. Chi, you don't know what you have done for me, oh. Hmm? Do you know how long I've been planning to get this money? Eh? Come on now, it's I've nothing. I've done so many now. things to raise this money. It's nothing. I'm sure if you were in my shoes, you'd do the same thing. You know, but this. Just stop. We are in this forever. You are who? <laughs> Me are you? <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I'm just tired. You yeah. can have mine. That yeah. Mister, this lecture was very, very stressful. Yeah. <sighs> I was even thinking on how to raise this money, but see you now. You My destiny. To hide ever. your money before this hostel people will see. Mm. Ah, no, 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 don't even go there. Not even got there. <laughs> oh. So, you're going to orientation camp tomorrow for your national youth service? Yes. But not tomorrow, though. A um, day after tomorrow. Oh. Yes. I thought it's tomorrow. Nah. No. It is in two days' time. Or do you want us to go ahead of time? Oh. <laughs> uh, not really. Not really. Um, honey, mm. there is something I want to discuss with you. Okay. You know, it's about my master's degree that I told you about. The time is here. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I, when are you going? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? I don't understand. You are, you're traveling out of the country tomorrow. Yes, and I told you about it. No, you did not tell me it is tomorrow. You said you'll be going for your master's, and you said sometime around this period, but you were not specific oh. about the date. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I thought I, I told you. I'm sorry. Of course, you will not remember to tell me now, because I'm not important. I mean, come on, stop saying that. Don't say that again. You mean everything to me. Trust me. Well, it's hard to believe I mean everything to you. For you to be telling me you're traveling tomorrow, today. And I'm sorry. Trust me, I'm sorry. I, I thought I told you. I'm sorry. I wonder how you, you would forget something as important as that. My mistake. I'm sorry. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So, how long are you staying when you go? Um, uh, three years. Yeah, three years. Three years? Yes, honey. Just three years, I'll be back. But please, remember you made a promise to me. Never to leave me. Which is a promise I, I must keep. And I will keep it. Thank you. I will never leave you for any man. And I am ready to wait as long as you want me to, until you're ready. Thank you. But on my own conditions. Conditions? Mm-hmm. You have to make promises to me too. Okay, let me hear about them. Number one, you will not leave me for any other woman, Ufafe, uh. whether white or black. All right, I promise you, I will never leave you for any woman in this life because you have a very special place here in my heart. Huh? 
I'm very serious. I don't want you to tell me <laughs> it's because I wanted to get one paper or the other. I'm serious. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. Well, the second one is you will keep strong communication with me. As a matter of fact, you have to talk to me every day. Hmm. Yes. You talk to me in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. As a matter of fact, two times in the morning. Mm-hmm. All right. Baby, you know you stay long and I'll miss you. <sighs> so we'll have to be talking all the time. That's okay. I will miss you too. Trust me. I promise you I will call you two times in the morning, two times in the afternoon, two times at night, <laughs> two times middle of the night, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you, right? I love you more. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. Come love one thing, thing. Hey, I'm jealous. Yeah, go inside. Go inside. How can I go inside? Say me now, bless me. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go Oh, so tomorrow now you. you leave me. I'll come to the house to see you first before. So I met Ginelo years back and uh, I trained her from first year until she graduated. She was able to pass the sanity test because I never had kind of knowledge of her. I know the custom and tradition of our people. And so I groomed her for marriage. Hoping to make her mine when I come back from overseas. Kennedy, I want you to erase everything you have towards Chinelo. Please. That is never going to happen. You may have trained her in university, but I saved her life. My blood runs in her veins. When she was dying, when no blood bank had her blood type, I saved her life. I gave her my blood. Kennedy, you were mentioning Elo a few weeks back, but I've known her for over seven years. Seven good years, and I've groomed her to be my wife. So please, what nonsense are you talking about, brother? What nonsense exactly? Now you tell me, if she had died on that sick bed, when we be having this conversation right now, Will you be telling me how many years you have beaten her? Leave that girl alone for me. I love her with every breath in me. Canada I've waited so long to make Chanel of mine. And I cannot give up at this point in time. So I am asking you, Kennedy, to risk any feelings you have for Chanel. Mom. Dad! Um, that's okay. That's okay, son. Um, it's okay, I will talk to your brother. But for now, the situation is tricky. I advise both of you should be yourself for now. Please. Please. What, what, what I don't understand is why one girl we befriend two brothers. Eh? What was she thinking about? Oh, I didn't know he was royalty. I didn't know they were related. Talk more of being royalty. I mean, Jane, you were there. You were there at the orientation camp when 
when I had to retrieve my number after I lost it, I waited. I waited for him to call, cried my heart out, and he did not. He didn't call. Maxwell did not call me. He didn't, he didn't try to get in touch with me. You know how, you knew how heartbroken I was then. Only for me to finally find happiness from nowhere Maxwell resurfaced. What, 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 what do I do now? Really, what do I do, Jean? Because I, I, I don't understand. What am I expected to do? This is quite unbelievable. <sighs> How could something like this happen? When you have finally found happiness. <sighs> Which is why I have always said that my fate is cursed. She don't say that. No, it is. Because how do you explain this? Just when I'm about to be happy. Just when I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and this just happened. Chi, you're not cursed. Okay? You are not cursed. You're one of the beautiful souls that I know. You are blessed. You're not cursed. Oh, please. Please. I am blessed. Yes, you are. Jane, how is this a blessing? No, tell me. How is this, this whole thing a blessing? Because this does not look anything like blessings to me. She just have to pull yourself together. I met Maxwell when... when I had lost all hope. He came into my life and brought so much happiness. He came with, he came with good tidings. And then he left. Ken came. When Ken came, Ken... Ken came when I needed my life being saved. When I needed being saved and he saved me he saved my life he was my life saver he is my life saver now I am caught in between these two men Jane what do you think I should do sister Jane, what do I do? Because I, Jesus. I don't know. I don't. I. I have no idea of, of, of what exactly I should do now. Hey. It's okay. God will fix everything. Okay. Stop crying, please. Stop being too hard on yourself. You'll be fine. Jane, please stop. Oh, mother, mother, leave me alone. What is it? Maxwell, please, do you not go looking for that girl? Okay? Your brother was the first to bring her to this palace. Leave her for him, please. Brother, do you realize what you're saying? That I should leave my woman for Kennedy? I have spent so much time and money for this very lady. Mama, there, there, there is no way I will leave her. Please. You can, and you will if you want to. You know he's your younger brother, so leaving her for him is not a big deal. Oh, for the more reason he should leave my girl for me. He's my younger one, therefore he should show me some kind of respect as his older brother. Maxwell, please, don't do this. I am begging you, please, please, my son. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. 
but nothing you will say right now that can change my mind. I'm sorry. Maxwell. God. Maxwell. God. Love don't want fight. Love her want so more. But what can we do? What happened? Why couldn't you wait for me? Why did you move on? She left me shattered. Was it because I told you I was traveling abroad for my masters? Is that what you think? That I didn't wait for you? It might interest you that I started dating your brother weeks ago. Do you think I would have passed the sanity test if I wasn't a virgin? Besides, why am I even telling you all this? Because as long as I'm concerned, I don't owe you any explanation. Chinelo, I do not want to hear you say that you're dating my brother. That word irritates me. You are mine. You belong to me, Chinelo. You know I loved you so much. You loved me so much. You loved me so much, yet I stayed up all night, nights upon nights, waiting for you to call me back. You did not call, Maxwell. No communication, nothing. You know how many nights I stayed up calling you, waiting for your call to come through, yet you did not call, and you called this love. But you changed your number immediately and left Nigeria. She lost her phone at the rotation camp. It took her two good weeks to buy new phone and retrieve her line. In that space of two weeks, you never called. Yes. <laughs> you already moved on, and you know. I searched through all social media looking for you, Maxwell. I was on every social media platform searching for a way to reach you, but to no avail. Not knowing you had abandoned me, left me, didn't even care about the woman you said you loved. Is that how you love? Besides, you lied to me. You lied to me, Maxwell. So you have no right to stand here and accuse me of anything. Yes, my prince, you did. Why didn't you tell her that you're royalty? You hid it from her because she would go to the palace and look for you. My price is not fair now. Abba, it's not fair. Chinelo, I, a lot happened. And I will explain everything to you. Please. Huh? I need you to... See, one thing you do for me is not to follow my brother. You are mine. Maxwell, son of King Onoche. Stay away from this woman. This is my woman. She's my wife. Stay very far away from her. Kennedy, she's my woman. And I'm telling you now that she is not yours. She is mine and I spent a lot to make her the woman that she is today. So stay clear. Maxwell, I didn't come here to exchange words with you. I came here to warn you to stay away from my woman. Else, else what? Else I will kill you right where you stand. You can't kill me because you do not have what it takes to bring me down. Is that what you think? I just said it to you. What? Hey, 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 honey. Honey. Ken. Hey, honey. Enter the car. Now. Listen, listen. Hey, Kennedy. 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 Young man. Listen. Kennedy. Kennedy! I said I will kill you! Kennedy, don't try this! Don't dare me! Kennedy! Motherfucker, don't Kennedy. dare me! Kennedy! Kennedy! Kennedy!
Just let me out of this car. Let me out of this car now. I want to take you back to the palace, away from Maxwell. And he is your past. I'm your present. And I'm not going anywhere with you. You have no right to tell me what to do. I want to get out from this car now. Tinelo, why are you doing this to me? Open the door, let me get down. You know how much I love you. Ken, open the door, let me get down from this car. It is all yourself. Calm down. Everything will be fine, okay? <sighs> yeah, everything will be fine. Don't take it too hard on yourself. You say everything will be fine. Yet Maxwell is about to steal the first woman. I have ever loved. And you think everything is going to be fine? No. Nothing is going to be fine, Father. Well, I understand what you mean, but I promise I will talk to Maxwell and he will leave that maiden for you. You just don't get it, Father! Maxwell is with my fiancée right now. I'm just coming from her house. I saw them together. I begged her. I asked her to come back to the palace with me, but she refused. She refused all because of Maxwell. You mean Chinelo turned you down because of Maxwell? Gosh, that girl must have some dirty tricks up her sleeve. Well, that's okay. And um, no, as you can see, we are family, and in a situation like this, we can always handle it as family. Some place, like I said, take it easy on yourself. Everything will come under control, okay? I promise you that. You see why I told you it's not good to give up easily. Which is my person? Which is that person? The young lady that Prince Kennedy wanted to get married to happens to be Bill Smartwell's fiance. Holy Mary. Princess is a lie. Why would I lie to you? Jesus. But why would that lady do something like that? Why? Anyway, that is what we are here to figure out. But given the situation at the moment, Prince Maxwell is never going to back down for Prince Kennedy. In that case, the girls are with me. <laughs> My friend, tell me, what do you suggest I do? What do you suggest I do right now? You, you. tell me, tell me. You just tell me, tell me. <laughs> from where you stopped. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Is there anything good about this afternoon when you have infected it with your bad omen? Uh, your Majesty, I don't understand, ma. You don't understand? How could you chase two brothers and seduce them to the extent of both of them falling deeply in love with you? Your How? Your Majesty, your Majesty, I did no such thing. Your Majesty, woe unto me if I knew they were brothers. Maxwell, I'm sorry, Prince Maxwell did not tell me he was royalty when I met him. Besides, 
he 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 abandoned me. There was nothing be between the both of us by the time I met Prince Ken. I only knew he was from a wealthy home. I didn't know he was royalty. I swear by the gods, your majesty. So this is why you convinced me to travel abroad from the masters. So you can snatch my woman from me. What nonsense are you talking about? I saved her from the clutches of that. She never told me she knew you. So what nonsense are you talking about? Kennedy, I love Chinelo so much. And I do not have a life without her. Well, then I'm telling you right here, right now, as my elder brother, to stand down. Stay away from her. She's mine. I invested so much on Tinello. I made her the woman she is. And that is why you saw her and you fell in love with her. But Kennedy, listen to me. I want to make everything so easy for you. Leave Tinello for me. If you do that, I am promising you that I will give you peace. But if you choose otherwise, I am equally promising you, Kennedy, that I will make this life a living hell for you. You're beginning to back like a dog. But I know you think yourself a liar. Are you sure you can finish this war you're about to start? Because I love war. I love lots of war. Are you ready? Kennedy, I am not backing like a dog. But I'm here to warn you. If you think you have balls in between your legs to challenge me, I swear, I will crush you. I will crush you in a way that you regret ever having a confrontation with me. Trust me. Prince Maxwell. I'm happy you've drawn the line here. But can you finish this war you're about to start? Demi. Then watch your back. Because I'll be coming. Chinelo, my daughter. You have heard everything I said. Please, consider it. My son Ken loves you so much, with everything in him. And you know he is a good man. Your Majesty, yes, he is a good man. But if he truly loves me like you said, then please tell him to give me some time. Time to sort myself out. Because the truth is, I love Prince Ken so much. But I also love Prince Maxwell. How, how can? How can you love Prince Ken and love Prince Maxwell at the same time? Are you sure you're all right? You were the one that told me that Maxwell abandoned you for three years. So how come you are even thinking about him or considering him as an option? Chinelo. Your Majesty. You know that Ken cares so much for you. And that was why he willingly gave you his blood so that you can live. Your Majesty, like I said, please, I'll need some time. Time to sort myself out. You know, marriage is not something one has to make a decision in a haste or under duress. I have to be completely sure of what my heart says and follow my heart. So please tell him to give me some time. In no short period, I would get back to him.
What are you doing here? I want us to talk. Talk here? But you know there is no way in this world I will talk to you here. I just want us to go somewhere quiet and... What is going on here? Kennedy! I hope you're not planning to take her away. Because she's not going anywhere with you. Maxwell, I hope you know a thousand of you cannot even stop me. Did I hear you well? Of course you did. Kennedy, try it! Move an inch, Kennedy! And who Please the hell do you think you are? Are you two going to huh? stand here and disgrace yourself? Even in public? Can't you two respect yourself? I'm sorry about this, Janelle. All right? But I just want us to go somewhere quiet and talk. Then Jane is coming with us. If that's what you want, fine. Hey, hey, Gina, don't, don't, don't try that. Don't move an inch. Don't get into this car. Maxwell, you have no right to tell me what and what not to do. Exactly. Let's go, Chinelo. Chinelo! You're just capping, bro. Just capping, man. Chinelo. Chinelo! I don't think you've won the battle. I swear we'll deal with you. Well, I don't think. I know I won the battle already. Small boy. I will deal with you. I am promising you that. Honestly, I am promising you that. Don't make me do this. We're outside. Love don't want fight, love a girl wants so more. But what can we do? The fight is all right now. It's brutal. The fighting is all. Yeah. This is what. Because of love, two brains in love with one girl, ready to fight, ready to fight, ooh, ready to beat each other, ready to kill. Yes, my dear. Mm -hmm. Of course. You know what I can do now. You should trust. Uh huh. Yes, let's do it like that. That way is fine. Mm -hmm. Open this gate. Uh, just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, give me. Nothing. Eh? Nothing yeah? What is the problem? Okay. Hey. hey. Uh, uh -huh, my love. Yes, so my son Maxwell. Hmm. I don't know. So as I was saying, Turkey will be fine. Just the three of us. Yes. You should trust me now. You know what I can do. Yes, my baby. Mm. Of course. Uh. Hey, just hold on, hold on. I will call you back. Maxwell! Maxwell, what do you think you're doing? Eh? I'm talking to you and you're walking out. Where are you going with that gun? Mother, stay out of this. Maxwell, take that gun back. What I said, stay out of this. Please. My son, my son, come back. Come and drop that gun. Don't open that gate. If you move an inch, sit down there. Sit down! So 
he told you to sit down. I, I, and you sat down. Oh, oh, you just, it's just to eat. That's all you know, foolish boy. My prince, you've been staring at me for some time now. What is it? Chinelo, I want to end this war between my brother and I. <sighs> Marry me. Be my wife. Please, don't say no. Um, my prince. Please, accept my ring. She will never, <laughs> ever marry you. Not when I'm still alive. Not when I'm still alive. Please, Master, please. Never! Chinelo. Sorry, yes. Get up. I said get up! Get into the car. Right now. Fast. To where? You have to follow me to my father. You have to tell him that I am the one you've chosen and not Kennedy. Get in. You can't coerce me into saying what I don't want to say. You can't force me. It's not by force. Sinelo! I do not want to be violent with you. Get into the car. I'm right not now. going anywhere. You can't force me to do what I don't want to do. My friend, get into the car. But this one will suit you more. This one will suit you more. Yes. Don't you think? I like it. I like the fabric. You? <laughs> okay, but why is it that everything I like is what you like? Mm, because Can you fine. just choose something it's else? It's fine. Please choose something else. <laughs> My princess, no. no okay, I choose this one. Let's go. Let's go. Leave me alone, Let's go. Master, leave me alone. Let's go now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're hurting my hand. Let's go. Leave me. You don't take it easy before you leave hurt me. me. If you do not shut your mouth up, I will personally shut it for you. Do you think I am in the mood for this, your lousy chatting? And who told you I want to chat with you? No, who told you I want to chat with you? I only said you should take it easy before you hurt me. Next time, don't threaten me because of her. Do you hear me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you. Stop it. You're hurting me. Stop it. Let's go. Let's go. Move now. Move. Move it. Go. 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 I don't have the time now. I said go. We have to stay here. Let me sort our things. I'll be back. Okay. What about her? About who? I have told you. I do not have any woman in my life. You don't have any woman in your life, yet you abandoned me. Did you even sat down to think how I felt all those years, waiting for you? Just a call from you. Just because you tried my number for a couple of days, it didn't go. And you didn't bother again, you just forgot me completely like that. And now you came out from nowhere to emotionally blackmail me, make I... me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Honey, come on. I did not abandon you. <laughs> I was out there working so hard to make more money. 
so I can better your life. And now I have made more money, and I am here to better your life, to make you my wife, the queen of my kingdom. I was out there working so hard so I can better the life of our born children, and here I am. See how easy it is for you to say it. So you feel you will just sugarcoat it and serve it to me and I take it like that. It's all okay. Did you know what you put me through? The heartbreak I had to go through. Maxwell, you broke my heart. I didn't have any closure because I didn't know why you did what you did. I wasn't sure if you were alive or you just abandoned me. And now you just want me to accept it that everything is fine. Maxwell, everything is not fine because you are a selfish man. You are so selfish that the only thing you think about is you. Just you. You don't think about anybody. Honey, I stopped calling you because... Because of what? No, finish it. Because of what? Because you have no reason. You have no excuse. Babe, I love you. I love you so much. I love you that I don't want to lose you to anyone. Not even to my brother Kennedy. I love you. Our brother with, with gone. What is happening? Stay out of this. Stay out. Maxwell. Honey, stop. It's not what it's for that girl. Stop. Are you mad? Maxwell. If you're a man, come outside and face me. Face me like a man. Maxwell. Where is she? I asked you a fucking question! Where is she? Kennedy. Do you think I am scared of this toy you have in your hand? Where is she? Bring her out now! Else I'm going to empty this bullet on you! Come on, small boy! Stop being naughty because you will never the entire life! Where is she? Kennedy, if you're man enough, why not pull the trigger? Oh yes. I am in front of you one on one. Pull the trigger. Kennedy, I am challenging you. A woman that I wasted so much on. A woman I wasted so much money on her. I made that the woman you are lost in after. And you want to take her from me? Kennedy, you lie, Kennedy. You will never in your entire life have children. Can, can you both stop it? Stop it before you kill yourselves already. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'll eat you all. Why waste the bullet? So tell me, why waste the bullet, Kennedy? I am here standing in front of you, man to man. And you just wasted the bullet. If you're man enough to challenge me, why not shoot me? If you have balls in between your legs, Kennedy, I challenge you. Pull the trigger. I am standing in front of you, man to man. Challenge me. Kennedy, she cannot do anything. Next time, I'm going to waste my bullets on you.
I want to see my woman. Else, I will eat you raw. I swear to God, I'll eat you raw, bro. I swear to God, I'll eat you raw. Don't fuck with me! What are four global label? I saw going up all year. The battle line is drawn, Kennedy. The stage is set. We shall see. Maswell and Kennedy. Both of you are not saying anything. I ask again. Why are you fighting each other? Your Majesty, whatever the reason may be, should it warrant both of them to carry guns on each other? Should it? You both are looking at each other like two cocks fighting over a hen. Huh? What is the problem between two of you? Father, I'm sorry I disobeyed you. But Maxwell here had the guts, had the temerity to attack me with a gun today. If I did not run for my life, Maxwell would have killed me or maimed me for life. And you expect me not to retaliate. Kennedy, you should thank your chin that Jane saved you. And listen, you might not be too lucky next time. Leave Chinelo alone for me, Kennedy. And I'm promising you here and now that if you dare get close to her, I swear I will kill you. Shut up! Shut up, Maxwell! What spirit has possessed you that you want to kill your brother just because of a woman? Father, tell him! To leave Chidelo alone for me. Tell him! Well, Father, you heard him. Maxwell said he's going to kill me. I said so. You match well. You want to kill me. I'll make sure you regret those words. I promise you. I will make sure of that. Will you sit down there? Sit! What has come over you? What is wrong with you? Must you dance to the same madness that your brother is dancing? What in God's name do you want me to do, mom? No, you tell me. What do you want me to do? You wanted to fold my hands and watch Maxwell kill me over a girl I gave my blood to save her life. My friend, you're not going to have her. I swear with my life. Stand do not have her. Enough. Enough. What will you do? Enough. 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 My princess, please, please let me out. I, I don't want to sleep here tonight. Please, please help me. Who are you? I... What did my brother say in you that is making them fight each other? What spell did you cast on them? I, my, my, my princess, I, I did not cast any spell on anyone. I did not. The two of them might be fighting each other because of you. But if you don't use your power as a woman to stop this madness, you will have me to contend with. My brothers might be aggressive, but they are nothing compared to my words. Don't pray I visit you because if I do, you won't like it. End this madness. Else, I will deal with you. Princess Olido does not joke. She does not give empty threats. Axe around.
See, Papa, you are being too soft on that girl. Eh? Let's go to the palace of Umucho and tell them that, especially the queen, that that girl is a witch that killed her parents and defiled the cause of Ikenga. No sitting here thinking of what to do. Let's act now. My daughter, it is not as easy as you think. It is not. Listen, the palace of Umuchu may not believe us. And where does that leave us? Eh? They will look at us as fools with very bitter hearts. That's the way it is. Papa, people with bitter hearts, that is what and who we are. Yes. See, Papa, I'm not, I'm not a fool, though. And that I'll never be a fool. That is why I want to destroy every single thing that is coming that girl's way. Yes. If you can't go, I myself will go there and tell them. I will go. Yeah, I've said my own. That girl, that girl she may look. I don't know the the, the, the the demons that are beating drums for her. I don't know. 